to the first ever live recording of the Good Banter podcast. Please welcome to the stage the man who is the memory of a punch drunk goldfish who likes to finish your dates by shitting in the park and who has just had a pep talk from Dennis Pagan. Put your hands together for Gubs, mate. It's Gus's mate, Tom Seeger. Ah, <laughs> that is good banter. Oh yeah, this man had three bucks parties, a month-long wedding festival. You've seen him in the Sentinel Times. He had to hitchhike here because his 2005 shitbox <laughs> broke down again. Ah, that is good He's got teeth banter. like a like bird corn. Give it up for the man who's been edging since Easter. Evan Hockey. <laughs> Ah, that is good banter. Hello, Seagit. Holy shit. How good is this, Fantitos? How Fuck are we man. all? Swinging. Oh, God. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, a good little trip down memory lane here with the got primes. The prime. and, uh, We've got, got, the, got the Dexies there all ready to go. Um, <laughs> bit of a lucky door prize, actually. Uh, don't check oh, now. but uh, oh, yeah, Thank you. Fantastic. Um, under someone's chair, we've uh, we've strapped fifteen Dexies. So uh, <laughs> something to look forward to. No, don't check now, mate, because they're not, not fucking there. So uh, no, it's uh, it's uh, how good's this? So we we're, were saying before, yeah, you do stand up comedy, and you uh, and you sort of see the crowd, and you you know what you're dealing with. But with a podcast, you're just sort of sitting in a fucking dodgy little room, and you're yep. talking in the mic, and you just wonder who's listening, and then all sort of people are listening. And you you come here, and you reckon oh, that's pretty much what I. I fucking expected. Uh, not exactly high fucking society in here. Yeah. Uh, in here today. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Great crowd. <laughs> nah, so yeah, thanks for coming out. Uh, the first ever live podcast. So it's uh, no, it's good fun, and I gave you a lift in today in the in the new. You um, did. What's the Serato, the fucking Kia Serato. It's uh, what'd you what'd you think of it, mate? It was yeah, um, nah, she's a she's for the man's man. The, uh, oh the Kia yeah, Serato. she's a she's a little fucking beauty. Um, Should we get some fluffy dice there or something? Fluffy dice, uh, yeah, a little she's shit a, fucking dog or something to put in the back. Or yeah, she's a she's a pretty average set of wheels. The old uh, Kia, but but uh, no, nah, she's a beauty, beauty Evan. Cars a car, mate. Get your Everything from A to B, and uh, no, it's good. Uh, that's how we've got plenty, of, plenty to talk about. We're going to try and get a bit of nostalgia happening, a little trip down memory lane over the last 117 episodes. We've got some uh, some important shout outs, outs early uh, on. Early on, so where have you, have you got that uh, fucking yeah, list? Um, um, you had one job, mate. One job, and uh, well, the, here we well, go. Got some VIPs in the room tonight. Yeah, we so wanna... this, uh, I don't know what episode it was, but uh, remember, remember when there was a bloke who uh, was playing football and, uh, yeah, the team wasn't going so well, so he thought, fuck it, I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking have a heart attack. And, um... <laughs> but, you know, there's different tactics if, you're not, if your team's not going well. Some people, some people pull hammies. Some people just, just go the boundary line. Uh, this guy thought, fuck it, I'm going to have a massive heart attack. <laughs> so we got the Duff Man. Duff Man down here. Yeah. Give it up for the fucking Duff Man. And, uh, mate, all, and, and all jokes aside, we were chatting to the Duff Man downstairs. And so it was fucking three times you, you flat flatlined. Yeah, three times. Three times you flatlined, and yet good to see you're back on the piss. So you're really looking after yourself, mate. You're uh, really got a new lease on life, and uh, uh, good on you, mate. Uh, good, hey, good you play, playing this season? No, tough? no, 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 Oh, I know, I know. Uh, had a uh, his, his wa- uh, partner Kate, uh, a bit of a, a death in the family. So, uh, well, fire up the comedy day. Yeah, you know, that's uh, stuff. Uh, no, I uh, could have said he was out of town, mate. But um, yeah. no, well, fuck I, me. I went through a, I went through the obituaries and fuck checked it, and uh, yeah, <laughs> no, fucking definitely did die. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> So apologies, Big D, R.I.P. Uh, so uh, no, to, uh, Big D and Kate, uh, yeah, take care and uh, 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, and uh, I have been hit up by a few people. We've got uh, Big Boise who's in from uh, Roeville, who uh, his uh, new partner. Where's Big Boise? I was chatting to him down uh, downstairs. Here he is, here he is. Your missus, your new missus hit you up and said uh, you'd be erect now. So uh, good to see you, Boise. So, um, OK, maybe some of the private stuff doesn't all yeah, have to yeah. go <laughs> into the, the live show. The general rule is when you uh, mention something, it's good that over 2% of the crowd will know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, but, um, so. Boise's having He gets it, and that's all that really yeah, yeah, matters. Yeah, Boise's, Boise's happy. Yeah, during so. the break, if you could just pass it on to everyone else, Boise. Yeah, I'll, I'll screenshot it and text you the text message, so that'll be, uh, that'll be good. But uh, um, what else have we got? Have we got a mention? No, nah, I reckon after what I did there, we'll fucking forget about it. Um, we'll just have a beer afterwards. That'll be... Uh, That'll be good. So, have you, you got anything there, mate? Yeah, uh, uh, we got it. Uh, we got been got up to? How's your week been, anyway, mate? No, uh, week's been all right. Woke up with a fucking biggest day in my life. This has been. Uh, you know, fuck, I've got three kids, uh, married, all pale into fucking insignificance when it comes to today. And I woke up with a fucking dirty great stye in me eye. Have you seen that thing? Mm, the fucking pubic yeah. hair in me fucking eyeball that I can't uh, can't get rid of. So that's uh, hopefully that doesn't come up on the on the record because I look like a. Fucking meth head. But, um, <laughs> anyway, good stuff. So that's a that's a hell of a tale there. Um, but we've got they've got the shitter. Oh, no, everyone's going. Geez, is that a that's an odd spot for a shitter? But mm. uh, we we're going to settle a score. And I know a lot of people are wondering uh, the wiping of the ass. That was big. That was big on the podcast. And I think anyone who uh, we got it was bloody hot topic. Hot topic. Judging and by the, the blank stares. Uh, yeah. Hold on, scratch. What, what's that? Fold or scrunch? No, well, that then, wasn't there it. Was um, that? Was that? No, no, it was fold. Here we go. Sit down. No, it was fold and scrunch, and uh, and, and it was sit more down. front to back or back to front. That was Oregon. That was really. That was really. Um, that was fifty fifty split. No, it divided down the a nation. It divided a nation, and um, so we thought we're going to settle the score once. it. we'll just show of hands to start start off with. Who? Um, but no, actually, I'll, I'll do. <laughs> I'll act mine out, and then, you, um, and then you um, and then you act yours out, yeah. and then we'll. Uh... Yeah, all right. And who's uh, who's who's come from furthest away? We've got a few people from Wodonga. We, I know there were uh, a couple of girls. Is it Wollongong or Newcastle? Yeah, yeah give it up for that. We're at Newcastle or Wollongong. Sydney. Si- oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. not fucking impressive at all. <laughs> yeah. Never fucking heard of it. Um, and uh, Baruga, we had a couple down from Baruga. Yeah, Cobram. Yep, Cobram Baruga. Yep, yep. Are you guys from Cobram? No. No, no. just thought you. <laughs> they are. They are. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. This guy just yelled out a random nearby town. town. Um, yeah. Well, we got we got Sammy down here as well, who won the uh, Patreon. Pizza. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Me. So. <laughs> Sammy, uh, and, and we, we did draw that out, and uh, strangely enough, we didn't have the camera that episode, so, uh, yeah, we couldn't really prove it, but uh, Sammy hit me up yesterday and said he's been off the piss for 100 days, so sometimes you just you take wins, because um, uh, he's not getting on the piss. So. The, the deal was we'd pay for all his uh, alcohol, and when, we, when he told us he was off the piss, we uh, couldn't have been fucking happier, to be honest with <laughs> And I must admit, we did, when we picked the winner, we were scrolling through all the, everyone's Facebook going, who looks like a fucking soft cock that doesn't work? Um, <laughs> we saw you and we thought, fucking jackpot. He's, um, he's our man. He is our man. So. Is, your, is this your mate, Sammy? Yeah, we'll, we'll oh, shout him. Are you having a few beers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, yeah, buy, we'll buy you. We'll limit it too, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll buy you a fee. You'll get uh, you a few beers. Must say, we're getting well. out of it pretty fucking. Can we get it? Can we get a beer for uh, Sammy's manlier brother? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. You fucking yelling at nah, me? No, no. Uh, <laughs> you think there's waiting staff walking around here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll fix you up a few beers and uh, feed. no worries, no worries. So yeah, so um. All right, so uh, up, so, the, I'll say, so look, the best easiest way to do this, I'll act out. Uh, how I shit and the, the process I go through and then Evan will, will do his and then um, and we'll, we'll do a vote, see which one's the most popular and if there's any fucking other freak shows here that might, uh, <laughs> might do something hose, different. If yeah, anyone does yeah, the yeah. bidet, we'll... Uh... So, uh, yeah, it was it. Yeah, basically, I... Uh, 
fucking, you do the, put the seat up, you, you know, you lock the door so little fucking tin lids don't come in and you sit down, you, uh, you and you just, you just shit yourself, you go, why don't I take my fucking jeans off, that was insane, uh, no, uh, yeah, so you obviously you do your shit and then, alright, this is how I go. Three sheets. Oh, you're, you're a scruncher. You're a scruncher. Fucking doing how I do it, mate. Remember to keep the mic there, mate. 45, so there's a bit of leak. Keep the mic there. So you need the mic, it's a fucking podcast. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's just a bit hard. I don't normally shit with a fucking microphone. That's, um... Uh, that, I, I might be all right. So I just dab the end of the knob. Um... <laughs> Give it a little fucking dab, dab, dab. Sometimes a little more than others. You know. Like... So, Babe, can you call the doctor? It's not. Uh, it's fucking leaking. Um, no, no. So give it a little dab. Do it like that, and balls to us. You go upwards like that, and then um, you look. You check it out. <laughs> No, that's not true. So dab up, up the back, up the back like that. Drop it in, flush, jackpot. And, and seat up. Sorry? Oh no, fuck, Tam will kill me. <laughs> Fucking, uh, uh, good stuff. And um, yeah, flush away. And, and, and there we go. And I would have thought that was a pretty fucking standard way to take a shit. But until uh, you said... Who the fuck dabs? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Dabs the knob. Or dabs, dabs the... Dabs his ass. I don't think I dabbed we've got my a, ass. We've got a question no. down here. I dabbed the knob. You dabbed the knob. <laughs> You're fucking 97, yeah, that's not mate. Correct. So that's a... You wear 10 pairs of jocks. <laughs> 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 All right. So this, I'm so taking this, uh, big power. Have you had the no. snip? Dab the knob? Have I had the snip? Uh, yes, I've had the snip. Is that, um, does that make a difference? <laughs> Maybe did you? It's all. It's, it's less about my dick leaking than about the wiping of the ass. Um, so, but I didn't dab. I, no, I, I don't dab my ass. I go up from balls up. Dunny flush. So I, was, I was chatting to Catsy last night, and he said, "Because uh, I'll do mine." But uh, does it feel like it's just, it's just going to go up your back? It sort of feels like that. Well, you don't fucking keep going right up your fucking back. You stop with the oh, ass, okay. and you look at it. That's still, where I fucked up. There's still shit on yeah, there. You're I don't like, want to get yeah. shit on me tramp stand. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You've coloured in your tramp stand, pal, Hocko. Yeah. Why, why is it brown? Yeah. No, all right, too much. Okay. Um, all right, so here we go. Right. You can go, Evan. So here's me. All right, so move that. <laughs> Because I'm a, I'm a reverse kanga man. I'm a, I'm sort of, I'll fucking put it all over the bowl and, uh, and then I'll make a joke because my wife's a doctor. I, I don't flush. And I just say, hey, babe, I've left my stool sample <laughs> in the toilet. And, uh, yeah, very close to divorce soon. No, no, no. So I'm, uh, I'm like this. Uh, I've sort of got some rails to grip onto if... Uh, because he lives in old people's homes, old so there's rails home. and um, all that sort of shit. Yeah, so usually, depending on how I feel, this is a bit thin, I might go four sheets usually. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this will do. And then I'm, I sort of get up on the toes a bit, just to get in there. Yeah, and I'm that way. Oh, no. I'm... <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm not wiping it all over me fucking balls, you know, so you sort of just... Is anyone else front, uh, back to front? No. Oh, okay. It seems to me... <laughs> but that, that, what you're doing... It seems a like, bit unnatural, I feel like... It's I'm like you're fucking... Like you're hiding from someone. Like there's fucking <laughs> ten other people in the room or something. Like, it just Maybe seems unnecessary. <laughs> I just feel like it's going to go up my... Get caught in the end. Oh, right. So, um, it, so maybe I've got to change. Sh show, show of hands, who's balls to back? <laughs> balls to back. Oh, right, okay, that's balls to say back. that's majority. All right, who's with me? Who's uh, back back to front? 
Yeah, yeah. fucking oath. The Baroni boys are back to front. Bloody yeah. oath they are. We've got, we've got a big fella over here. That's, I'm like, you're not wiping it all over your balls. It's, uh... Is there, any, is there anyone else just doing something fucking... <laughs> like, 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 like Pickles? Two wipes. One back, one front. you got to go with and against the... Pickles. Game. Best of Pickles. both Pickles. <laughs> you can't make everyone happy, mate. No. you got to pick a side. <laughs> Nah, he's played it well, maybe. Uh, yeah. um, oh, well, that's uh, look, some, certainly food for thought. Um, something to talk about on the way home. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to... Um, all right, so I think we're going to tell, tell a couple of tell stories. Tell a few stories, and uh, we've got a bit of other stuff later on. And what we're going to do, we're going to... We're going to do about an hour, then uh, we'll give you time. And if, if, you, if you need to go to the toilet or get a, or get a beer, feel free to jump up, um, jump, yeah, go grab a beer, go to the toilet. This is while it's, the show's on. We don't, yeah. we don't care. We want you as just just relaxed as possible. So if we see you going out, we're going to tear you a fucking new one. So, um, <laughs> no, nah, just kidding, just kidding. That's, uh, and then about an hour, we'll have a break, go to the bar, grab a drink. Then Tommy, uh, we're going to do a little Patreon uh, pickles. <laughs> Back to front, back to front, <laughs> front to back. He's uh, he's trying all that stuff out now. So, and then we'll have a break. And Tommy's got a uh, got a great story. That's going to be a little Patreon uh, teaser, teaser. Yeah. So, uh, so after an hour, yeah, mm. five minute break. And you started yeah. the yeah. timer. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, no, no, I did start it. So we're uh, all good. So yeah, we're going to tell a couple of tales each. So uh, long time listeners will know that as a uh, uh, I, I graduated from high school in Canada. Well, I didn't graduate. I was fucking. Um, I was over there for, as an exchange program, but it didn't um, academically. It didn't go to plan. So, um, so uh, anyway, so I got a lot of mates in in Canada. Not bragging. Um, so I've been back there a few times since. Second time I went over there, I uh, a mate was letting me stay. I was staying with his family, he still lived with his, lived with his parents. I was staying in there, oh, this fucking shed out at the, the back of their house. And um, I didn't have a shitter, didn't have a toilet. <coughs> Weren't as blessed as we are here with a toilet. Um, so I um, so, so I was using the shitter in the, in, I was using the shitter and shower in, in the house. And anyway, so it was a weird, well, I think we were about 20 and, who, who, who remembers creatine, when creatine was a big thing? Remember everyone thought, you, you just fucking had creatine, you'd just get muscly. Yeah. Like, like, you didn't have to do weights or anything. You just have cre- The more you had, the bigger you'd get. And it, basically all it did was make you fucking Quite shit yeah. yourself. And, um, and, you, and, you had, and you had diarrhea. Because we didn't do any weights or anything. We just took, took creatine. And um, wondering why we'll fucking... Nothing was happening. Um, so anyway, so... But me mate uh, that I was living with, Fraze, he was mate, he was starting to get big and he was doing a lot of fucking weights and he was really getting in this creatine. But he was just liquid shit from 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 this creatine. And it was it was a one toilet house. Before we get in, who's never heard the podcast before? All right. Okay. 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 We've right, got a well, few. We've got a few. So yeah. All right. So this is this is basically it's going downhill after yeah. this. So. <laughs> This is our, this is our, um, you know, um, what do they say when someone's smart? This is our academic stuff. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to get too political first up, but uh, we're going to, we're getting, we're getting political. So, um, so anyway, so, so Fro's one, one toilet house, uh, uh, it's the bar, you know, it's, it's got the bathroom in there, the fucking shower, whole kit and caboodle, and it's, it just had a door, no, no lock to speak of, but it had a little, you know those little fucking latches, just a little fucking little latch. Anyway, one one toilet house, I'm just sitting there, just sitting on the toilet, and uh, all of a sudden the door started, <laughs> just started fucking shaking. And, uh, and I go, who's that? And it's, it's Fraser, and when he needed to shit, he needed to shit. He, there was, he had 10 seconds max because of the, the amount of creatine this guy was pumping into his body. Um, anyway, so, uh, so he goes, Tom, what are you, who, who, who's in there, man? Who's in there? And I said, Froze, it's me, mate. Just, I've just started. Fucking, uh, I'm going to be... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grabbing be, me knob. Yeah, I'm going to be five minutes. I'm going to be five minutes. Uh, come back later. And he goes, no, man, I need na- I need to do a shit now, man. I need I need to do a shit now, Tommy. Get out. Get out. And I was like, mate, and I started being a fucking smartass. So I was going, mate, look, I've just started this 
Boop. Uh, I'm on the... He knew you were lying yeah, yeah, straight away. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I said, I'm, I've got a few pages left and the chapter's done. In the chapter, mate, jackpot, you're in. And the fucking door's shaking like the fucking bear, bear there. And I said, all right, mate. And he goes, mate, just get off, man. Get off. Don't even worry about flushing, man. Get off. Get off. And I was like, all right, mate. And I've, and I've got off. And at the moment, I... Uh, took that little fucking, the door has just fucking flown open and he, he'd already, he'd taken his pants off. He was, um, no, no shoes, uh, just standing there with a t-shirt. He was so fucking dead. He's fucking red in the face. And, um, and he was a, a lot bigger than me, stronger, but he must have just been so, like, weak because of how bad he needed to shit. And he sort of launched to the toilet and again just being a major... Asshole, I fucking grabbed him, grabbed him by the shirt, and went and sort of pushed him. And looking back, I don't know why the fuck I did it. It was a, <laughs> it, was a it was a dog act. And um, so I fucking grabbed him and sort of pushed him, and he's just gone no, and exploded this shit. It was this. It went. I shit you not. It would have been three meter uh, strip of shit, and then probably a meter up the wall of shit. And he's going, no, Tom, no. And um, and at that that exact moment, because we were living with his parents, and his um, and and his mum's walked in and just gone. Oh, Fraser, come on! <laughs> He's just, stand, just standing there, no pants on, just shit all over. And I was like, mate, you fuck, you're on your own there, buddy. Um, when he uh, when he cleaned it up, did he wipe front to back or back? back he went to front. front of the room to the back of the room yeah. Yeah. With, a, with a mop. With he a mop. certainly wasn't dabbing that. That was uh, no, it was fucking sick. <laughs> That's so many great memories the of me trip sm- overseas. Yeah. Where were you living? Where were you living in Canada? Uh, near no- uh, Nova Scotia, Halifax. Uh, not far from Halifax. God's country. Yeah, God's great. country. Got the longest alphabet in the world, the Canadians. Did you know that? A-A-B-A-C-A. <laughs> D- <laughs> Tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe leave the clever stuff for the other, other podcast. Um, no, good. So anyway, yeah, so anyway, yeah, yeah. No, well, that's uh, that's good shit story early on, which yeah, is it's good uh, to ask. Set the scene. Good. Yeah. Well, what was everyone expecting when they got here today as well? Just sort of let's riff a bit with the crowd. Let's. Uh, did, did you? Because we we don't farts what? farts. Farts, yeah, we do do a few of that. I haven't eaten much today. I reckon I'll be, I'm pretty empty. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit fucked. Because it's the thing about a fart, you can't plan. You've just got to, um, just got to cross your fingers and hope something's rotting inside. But um, I haven't ate a, and this is unintentionally. The uh, wife's away at the moment, and I tried to make it. We had things, uh, the wheels really fall off when she's away. Uh, we had one fucking <laughs> slice of bread in the fucking pantry, so I thought, what can I make out of this? Grabbed a bit of ham. From the fridge, put it on, and I was like, and it was sort of tingly. I was like, ham's not normally fucking tingly. Um, and um, so I looked at the fucking little sticker on there, and it was about seven days uh, over, over. And I thought, well, this isn't fucking good. So um, um, I thought, well, the one positive is maybe I'll have the, the, some decent farts today, but it hasn't, um, hasn't fucking come about. So I don't know. I must have a. We got the shooter on stage, so that's. Uh, all yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it's a good sense of humour. I rang her and I said. <laughs> what happens when you eat ham that's a week a week over? And she said, well, positive is you'll have a shitter on stage. So um, that's good, because fair chance I'm going to shit the strides. But uh, no, good stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's what we're talking about. Uh, we we're talking about uh, your mate shitting all over the, shitting ah, all over the floor. Ah, phrase, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good one. Well, I, uh, I lived in Port Douglas for a while, and uh, anyone, anyone been up to Port... I was chatting to... Who was it before? Yes, yeah, I've got Matty Taylor here. I worked for his, uh, worked for his brother, cleaning pools, which uh, was good fun. Good fun cleaning pools. It was good. It was good. The stereotype uh, of uh, the porno didn't really... Uh, no. Uh, it was more... <laughs> no. This pool cleaner was more <laughs> rubbing one out in their toilet when they weren't... Uh, I was... <laughs> But, uh, anyway, yeah, you don't really, yeah, yeah. That's a certain niche that porn, but uh, <laughs> not many people into it. Uh, no, but uh, so I lived there for four years. It was uh, it was good fun, and um, the last three months in Port Douglas, uh, you know, things. I'd become single, 
earlier in the year become and, uh, single. <laughs> like, like, he couldn't find a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> No, the become was because it wasn't my choice. Um, yeah, so uh, I. Uh, but in the last three months, we, me and a few mates, we're going to go overseas. So, uh, Lee Lace, Lace was up on uh, on uh, on the rental I was in. I had three months to kill, so I thought, oh, well, you can't sign a new lease. I'm going overseas. Where, where am I going to stay? And uh, a few months, they were they were living in the two bedroom joint, and. Uh, a room each. I said, oh, God. They had a garage, which they didn't have cars. I thought, oh, fuck it, maybe I uh, sleep in the garage. Sleep in the garage. Yeah. Sleep a bit With of the garage. other tools. <laughs> 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 All right, it's not going to get any better than that. Let's yeah. run it off. Uh, <laughs> 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 so I thought, uh, hey, fellas, what's, uh, what's going on in that garage? You, uh, you got a bit of uh, spare room for uh, old Evo to crash in there? He said, yeah, yeah, no, no worries, mate. So, and when you're 29 sleeping in a garage, um, single, life's not fucking going great. <laughs> is it, has no. it got the, uh, is it one of the ones with the do garage door straight into the house or separate from the house? Because a big difference. Straight into the house. Ah, so it's there was like a, a fucking fourth bedroom. Yeah, it was just a, just a, just a sliding, sliding door and, uh, sliding yeah. Sliding door? Yeah. Into the garage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you walk <laughs> into the house from, well, either way, it's in, it depends which way you're walking. <laughs> You know, right? Yeah, it's a good point. Is, is, yeah. it, is it that hard to picture? <laughs> oh, I didn't. I thought you'd have a, do a lockable door. <laughs> no. What's that? Not in Port Douglas, mate. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, it's your right. maybe we should have bought a fucking sliding door on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think the story was going to be that hard to follow, but... Uh, Slow down a second, Brian. Yeah, all right, sorry, mate. Maybe we go for a break, start Googling sliding doors. But uh, anyway, so uh, they said, yeah, no dramas, Evo. Because uh, it is, like, one of those things, you're 29, single, uh, sleeping in a garage. The kind of thing you'd probably... It usually keep you up at night, but uh, I managed to sleep pretty well. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's because of the carbon monoxide, but... Um, <laughs> But anyway, my nickname's Buddha, so uh, once, once people... And when I, the first few nights, oh, it was really fucking depressing. Uh, I was just sleeping on a single mattress, just yep. on the concrete. <laughs> no sheets, no, just a pillow without a, a, a pillow cover. And uh, just, just shit everywhere. I go, where is my life at? <laughs> what am I doing? Kicking goals. Yeah, yeah. But eventually, uh, German, me, um, me boss said, mate, I've got, a, I've got a double bed in the spare room. What, a, what do you reckon we try and deck this, deck this garage out, you know? I can't have me bloody number one employee sleeping on a single mattress. It's not good for business. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we decked it out. It was all good, and uh, they gave they gave it the name. Uh, they they started calling it Buddha's. We they called it the warehouse. So it was like, it was Buddha's warehouse, which uh, I felt pretty cool. That was all right. Um, anyway, so obviously being single, come out of a relationship, you're looking to get back in the game. Are you, who's single? We got any single uh, single people here? We got a few up the back. We got one here. That's great. Any uh, any other? Eagles. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, not after tonight, Pickles, I reckon. Uh, yeah, this is your night. Because the guy to girl ratio on this joint's it fucking is. good, mate. Jesus. If you ever want to meet a lady, come to a good band to fucking live podcast. Up, mate. If you can't meet a girl here, that's on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, they're, they're, no, no, it's a lot of blokes. Yeah, uh, yeah. real sausage fest. Yes, but uh, anyway, so I uh, went out one night and uh, the Iron Bar. Anyone been up to hit the Ooh, Iron Bar yeah. in Port Douglas? Yeah. You been there, Pickles? Been kicked out too. Been kicked You're out. Right? Why does that not surprise us, Pickles? <laughs> <laughs> no, what'd you get kicked out for? Apparently I was intoxicated. Intoxicated. Oh, Jesus, Pickles. Doesn't that's make sense, uh, Pickles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pickles, give it up for Pickles. He's a volunteer firefighter as well. So, yeah, after uh, he sent me a message after I said that all volunteer firefighters pull themselves, uh, he uh, said, tone it down, big fella. It's not all of us. 
It's just me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, it's good. So uh, anyway, so we're out at the Iron Bar and uh, it's getting late, it's getting, there's a few girls floating around and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a group who were there on a, on a bit of a holiday and this, this uh, girl had, they were wearing lays for some reason, I don't know if they were on a hen's night or... Lays? You know those uh, like flowery sort of, th- you see them in Hawaii. Hawaii, Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah. Hawaii. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not a great look. Uh, well, this, well, if maybe if you're in Hawaii, they're all right. But the iron bars. Oh, okay. Anyway, so and um, this might come across, but you know, she, she this this girl, she was she was she was okay. She was uh, all right, guys. Like I'm no fucking catch. All right, I've I got fucked teeth. I was sleeping on a bloody. Single mattress, okay, so... But, and, and again, and we hope... We, we do walk the tightrope every now and again. We hope these stories don't come across as ever sexist or racist. Yeah. But you can feel good that I can guarantee <laughs> that somewhere in Australia, this girl is also on stage in front Telling of other people. Story. <laughs> about, telling a story about the fucking horror she picked up. So, uh... So, yeah, it's... it's Yes, yeah, so it works both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So but don't, I, you don't know. feel bad. It's yeah, all good. so anyway, when you start chatting, she said, oh, I'm up here with friends, I see. Because you get to a point in the night where it's been a very long time. This is back in 2011, so a long, long time ago. And uh, you've got to work out where do you go, you know. Am I going to your place or do you want to come back to mine? And uh, as, remember, I lived in a fucking garage. <laughs> So uh, I said to her, I said, she said, I said, oh, where are you staying? She said, oh, I'm staying with friends. I said, oh, well, do, you, do you reckon we could go back to your place? She said, oh, I don't want to go back to my place because uh, I've, got, I've got my friends there. Said, what about your joint? <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. I live in a garage. <laughs> And I think she thought I was fucking around. And she goes, she goes, oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. I said, no. I live, I'm living in a garage. Like, there's a fucking car there. There's, uh, no, no. So she, she, she I, I told her, I reckon, about 50 times. I said, you do not get it. It's, I live in a garage. And anyway, so we're walking back. She said, oh, that's, it wasn't far out of town. But she goes, oh, that's, that's where I'm staying. I said, you yeah, sure? You don't want to go back there. I live in a garage. And uh, she said, no, no, let's, let's go. What was her joint like? They uh, looked all right? Um, she was sleeping in a shed. So. <laughs> Bloody yucky bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was very nice. It was very nice. And uh, I thought, oh, well, that's fine, you know, what I'll do. And it's one of those things, because sometimes, whether you're a man or a woman, sometimes you, you, you get lucky some nights, don't you? You go, Jesus Christ, how did I... How do I pull this one off? I am, yeah. And what I'm saying there, is everyone sort of picking up what I'm putting down? Like, sometimes you get a glamour. Oh, fuck, this is, this is, this story is not, this story is not going well. Yeah, it wasn't. Oh, I'm punching below my weight. No, I'm punching. Above? Below. Uh, I, I reckon really I, I, had looks, fuck, I, had, I had fucked teeth. I was sleeping again. I reckon we're on the same level. Okay. Lovely girl though, lovely, 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 lovely. Soul to the earth. Soul to the earth. She was, she was lovely, but... <laughs> oh, this is going to haunt me, this one. <laughs> so anyway... Turn, turn, the, turn the camera off. Yeah, it turn it down. down. <laughs> and, uh, I could not, I couldn't pick her out of a lineup, to be honest, but, uh, Anyway, so I thought, oh, it's all right. And I thought, yeah, it's one of those ones where you, oh, I just hope no one's home, so you don't have to do that, blah, whatever. I said, oh, it's all right. If, if anyone's home, I can just lift the roller door up <laughs> and take her in through, just reverse park her <laughs> onto, the, onto the mattress with the fucking reverse and beepers going. Be, uh, uh, no, she was actually, she was, she was, ah, this is, this is, this is going, whew. Jesus, Whew. it is no, getting hot it. in here. She's, she's telling the same story somewhere else. So it's all, yeah, it's all good. yeah, that's good. So uh, anyway, she says, oh, s- sorry, I've, I've, I've got to go to the toilet, um, probably. And uh, I sort of looked, you can sort of look around the corner into our unit and there's, there's fucking about 20 people there. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is, uh, it's not good. You know, there's, 
there's blokes, there's chicks. It's, it's, it's all me housemates. I'm like, oh. It was one of those ones where you, you sort of, oh, fuck, this is not sounding good. <laughs> just, you just, because if you, if you do get a good one, it's sort of like you, 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 on the way home, you're sort of getting cabs to your mate's joint, going, hey, look what happened tonight, big fella. What's, uh, what's going on? Oh, what are you doing here? Hey, hey, good stuff. Well, this was probably the, uh, maybe the other way, anyway. So, what are you? Your tinted windscreen sort of trip home, huh? sort of. Um... But again, she's doing the same thing. Doing the same her. thing. Yeah, she's got the podcast. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so I've got to go to the tour. So she sort of she got the lay and uh, you know the little Hawaii vibe, and she went through the toilet, and uh, everyone sort of looked at me and goes, "Whoa, Eva." <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> oh, God. She's telling the same story. And then I said, all right, guys, uh, we're going to go to bed. So I opened the sliding door. <laughs> Chivalry's alive and well. Went, went into the garage, closed the sliding door, and uh, very loud, like, turned the music up just to get, get down with it. Very echoey, a shed. Yeah, it is. The garage and... Uh, garage. Sort of thing, the things, things are going all right. And I thought, uh, she said, have you, got, uh, have, you got a, have you got a condom? I'm like, oh, fuck, no, I don't. I don't have a condom. I've got jumper leads. Yeah. <laughs> a spare battery. Um, <laughs> will that work? <laughs> so I text one of my mates. I said, hey, Smithy, you, uh, you got a dinger? He goes, <laughs> It was yeah. the 90s. <laughs> they go, yeah, yeah, I do. And uh, where, where the sliding door is, there was a table. He goes, oh, I've just put it on the, uh, on the table inside the house. And he put a little candle next to it with a lighter, lit the candle. You know, so, so what he would have seen is, they go, oh, you fucker. I said, can you, can you, can you throw it in here? Jesus, come on, help, help her black out. He goes, nah, it's on the table. So I sort of just opened the sliding door and what they would have seen, they would have seen like the hand from the Adams family just pick up this dinger and just go in like that, close the door and... Uh, yeah, 30 we, seconds later, the thumb come out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was her thumb as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably wasn't one of my best performances. Uh, actually, she fell asleep because of carbon monoxide. So, yeah. So, oh, f- anyway, so uh, next day, next day, I said, I'll walk, I'll walk you home in the morning. Um, that was... And uh, before I wake up, she was gone. Um, <laughs> and, uh, the next day, though, we had um, we had the uh, reverse draw, so that was all all, all good fun. It was going to be a big day, and uh, turned up turned up to uh, the reverse draw, and everyone was saying, hey, you know, what happens with guys and girls do that? Hey, what happened last night, Buddy, Budzy? What's going on? So everyone said. Um, they, they, can't, they coined the phrase uh, Buddha's Warehouse, where lower standards are just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, lovely girl, and uh, yeah, she's telling the same story. So, uh, so I don't feel bad. I think a few people have jumped off now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, all right, so next we were going to, uh, and we said this would take longer than we planned, which it is. So we're, Oh, what are you at? Did you start there? 38. Oh, Jesus. Um, all right, so we've, uh, so what we did, and uh, we'll try and fly through this, we thought we'd do a top five countdown of the, uh, a bit of a nostalgia, again, a bit of a, a trip down memory lane, top five uh, moments in good banter history. So history. see with the, with the long, uh, prestigious history we've had. Uh, good banter. So, um, so... Uh, yeah, so, go, go if you have to. Yeah, you know, if you need. Go on, boys, go on, leave you. That's, yeah. That's what usually happens when I tell that story, to be honest. Yeah. So, uh, and maybe a bit of an update. This is the, this is the top five, and I, and I assume, and this is going to, if, if people aren't regular listeners, this is going to really fall flat. Uh, so, so we'll see how it goes. So, so starting a uh, bit of a drum roll, start from, from number five, uh, top five uh, moments in good banter history in the first 116 episodes. Number five is edging. The edging episode. 
Last word, blew yeah. my mind, Pickles. Like, are you, are you edging, Pickles? Nah, nah. Okay. Not edging. So, uh, it's, it's just, and this is, we have done our fucking homework, as we always do. I mean, we, we don't just just say shit. I mean, everything here, we, we really do our homework here. And, um, and it, is, it is 100% guys, uh, AFL players, before a game of footy, uh, uh, a, uh, having half a, half a, like a bone up, sort of, just... Just so they've got half an erection, because apparently that's when the testosterone is at, a, at its highest point. Uh, well, the Brony boys, are you boys edging, or what's... Uh, yeah, Robbo is. Robbo's edging. Yeah. Oh, no, man, we don't mean just sitting in the goal store having a wank, mate. This is, uh, like, actually... <laughs> Actually e- e- edging. So, uh, so we thought that was thought that was thought that was very uh, very interesting. And so we certainly got a lot of a lot of callers, uh, callers, a lot of uh, callers. Call, no, yeah, we it's a radio. No, show. We had no callers. Um, uh, and then number four was the. Well, this was a big build up. This was a big build up. This one, like, uh, yeah, because you you thought my memory's fucked. I don't know who my kids are, who's my wife, what's going on, and the ADHD. That the, was, the ADHD. I mean, diagnosis. we all knew he had it. We didn't have to. But I tell you what, for someone that's, that's memory was so far, it was a fucking big relief because that was, I really thought I was dumb as dog shit for a while there, but um, still, I was, up. still am, yep, correct, thank you. Uh, <laughs> security, can we fuck that guy? Well, um, yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, so we got the, um, got the, the deck, can you have one? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Might maybe turn the, turn the camera off, get me fucking subscription taken off. But, um, so, uh, yeah, so, 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 so on their subscription, <laughs> I assume it's like Woman's Day, isn't it? You get your... <laughs> subscription. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. Does it come in the mail? Uh, the best thing about that, 120 blokes, no fucking issue with it at all. <laughs> One girl going, subscription, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, so the old, uh, so on the old, but yeah, the old, uh, the old dick's amphetamine. It's, um, so, so I've sort of, I've, I've learned to, I've learned to deal with the ADHD and now using those solely for recreational purposes, which is, um, <laughs> which is good. Um, yeah, so. Uh, and this one, uh, oh, this went for a while. This number three, it was getting a bit the, uh, old by the end, wasn't it? The old, the old wedding, really <laughs> fucking. <laughs> she really fucking dragged out the old wedding. Uh, um, you, you had fun though. You, uh, you, I had fun. You were not sober. For no, one no, I'd, I'd an absolute minute. ball. But I was, um, yeah, it was three days. I don't know, four, four, four days. I was up there, but um, the actual, the recollection of it. Went for about four fucking months. I tell you what, it was uh, it was a great it was a great wedding and it congratulations and the yeah, thanks man the it's still all going well. Uh, we're divorced. <laughs> uh, maybe after that last story. And uh, yeah, luckily she does she's, not listen. No, she's well above that. Um, no offence to anyone here. Um, number two, surf and turf. <laughs> famous uh, famous shit in the park and. Um, <laughs> And we, we had planned, like, uh, or we, we, t- we talked about it for about 10 seconds, but how fucking good would it have been? Uh, sort of, this is your life sort of set up. Because like, hand, hand on heart, since that girl, well, we have not spoken, I have not laid eyes on her, and I, I often think back, what, I often think, what does she think happened? <laughs> like, I know the story, guts were fucked, shit and making all crazy noise, so I had to shit in the park. Came and uh, but I wonder what she thinks. Like, did I do a runner from my own house? Mm. Did yeah. So I wouldn't mind just sitting down with her, and you know we both moved on, and just saying what what happened? What's that? Jack no wick, Jack no wick. Nah, he's all good. If you need a piss, if you need a piss, fucking hell, there's a ruckman. <laughs> and you're not playing footy, are you? No, I'm not. Doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, Rance, he's a uh, yeah, good, good footballer, good football. So. What are you mm. Mm. Yeah. All right, the old trip down memory you know, nose is not going quite as well as the fuck it is planned. Um, the uh, number one, who, who can guess what number one is? The number one 
moment in the... Stack it having. Oh, stack habits. <laughs> stack it having. Yep. <laughs> Who would have thought how dumb he is? He, he's the fucking smarter of the two brothers. Either. <laughs> stack it having. <laughs> What's that? Throwing the egg at the DJ. Oh, that that was big. That was we forgot about that one. We forgot about that one. Dog shit police? Oh, dog oh, shit police. Fuck, Jeez, actually, actually maybe, maybe we should have gone to the crowd instead of picking yeah. our own. No, we should have spent more than eight seconds on our top five. Um, yeah. No, some really good ones. And actually, now that you mention it, way better than what we've fucking picked as number one. Uh, Shitting yourself in Shanghai? Shitting yourself oh, I thought that was good. Snapper issues. Snap, yeah. Snapping in human shit. In uh, okay, yep. A lot of shit. Bit of a shit theme. Um... <laughs> No, we, well, this is going to really uh, disappoint the crowd. It was, uh, and we, and the reason we did it number one is it's, it's, uh, it's very soon to have an update. Is uh, is me old mate Gus from Griffith? The uh, <laughs> <laughs> so for those, yeah, me, me best mate Gus who had a massive impact on my life, and um, was someone I and, and, I and I went back to Griffith recently, and he had no fucking recollection of who I was at all. But and. Like, I, 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 I tried to... Uh, words couldn't capture how fucking shattered I was that this guy, I was a fucking... Well, not even a fucking blip in his life. And he had such an impact on my, my life. It was... Um, anyway, but I'm going, I've got a gig in Griffith in three weeks. So... And, I'm, and, I'm, and Gus, because if, if you remember correctly... If you remember correctly. If you remember... Um, Oh, I, uh, as I was walking out, just fucking shattered. About to get in the car. After the gig, Gus followed me out and he said, Tom, it was actually a nice little moment. He said, who the fuck are you? No, I said, we've established that, Gus. Um, he said, Tom, I, I don't, I'm sorry I don't remember you, but I can see how I would have liked you. You seem like my kind of guy. <laughs> And if he thinks that made up for that, I was, I was like, I was like, fuck you, Gus. <laughs> no, no, I, and, and I said, well, that's sort of, that's nice. So, and I'm going back uh, to a gig up in Griffith in three weeks, and I'm uh, going to catch up with Gus, and um, and yeah, hopefully just spend spend three hours going. Are you sure you don't fucking remember me? Yeah, Gus is a uh, yeah. Long story short, don't smoke pot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, what, are we going to run with that one, or? We, do you want to tell that story of uh, the bouncer nightclub Ooh. story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get into that. Get into that? All right, so. That. Or do you want to, we really, we've got a run sheet, but we're sort of, uh, yeah, we don't know. Thinking on the fly here, guys. Yeah. Thinking on the fly. So, uh, this is a story that we've tried to get a. We've tried to get out early twice. on. Early on, I think we maybe episode three. Or so, we, we tried to tell it, but it was. You knew you run. Hang on, pickles. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hold your horses, pickles. Which? <laughs> oh, the nerdy one. No, we got that one out. Yeah. We've tried to tell this twice, and both times the sound fucked up. So that's, uh, you, that's your fault. That's my fault. Yeah, yeah. Tom. Uh, it's all on me, pickles. It is all on me. So yeah. Unless you're doing something. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Thanks, pickles. Thanks, pickles. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a reason we didn't bring a third mic, pickles. We, um... <laughs> nah, just kidding. Fuck it. We are. We are in no position to be losing listeners. So, no. pickles, fucking. <laughs> Spread the good word, mate. Spread the good word. He doesn't pay for it You're not fucking bootlegging the Patreon, are you? <laughs> no, that's positive. That means we've got 65 listeners. Um, nah, all right. So, uh, yes, this is a story. And we did it. And fucking thank you very much for everyone that listened from the start because... He, we just look back. He is fucking cringe, and my um, my tablet smacking or whatever, um, whatever. <laughs> the the habit stacking. I mean, it was. I was clearly. Uh, you were trying to get off the booze, weren't you? I was trying you? to get off the fucking yeah, booze, and, yeah, yeah. and down on my knee. I was all. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, that was a little offshoot podcast I had. I was going to count down four hundred days to the wedding, so in every day, and uh, so I started it, and then COVID hit, and I had to. 
we postponed two years. I thought, fuck, this podcast is going nowhere. <laughs> so, uh, seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> so, uh, so this is a story we did. Yeah, again, thanks for everyone that's listened from the start because it was, fuck, it was horrible. Uh, it was hard. Uh, anyway, so... So, can I take you all back to 2010? Um, it's those uh, love their footy. Might remember it was Collingwood St Kilda, and it was it was big. Saints hadn't won one for forever and a day. Pies hadn't won one since 1990. It was it was it was fucking big. One team was go, was was going to make history. Literally. You could you, you could not get a fucking ticket to this thing. It was it was it was the hottest ticket in town. T- you couldn't get a ticket for under three grand. And um, anyway, anyway, so I, I was I had five, 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 uh, six mates. We all wanted to sit together. Someone to get a ticket. I can someone to get three. We, 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 let's try and get it together. And it got got to the, a week before. Uh, and it, we realised we, we're not going to get tickets to to the grand final. So what we did and. Uh, this is, uh, I'm sure you couldn't do this these days. We hired out um, gold class at the, at the cinema, at the Crown Casino, and we got them to play the, the granny on, it was a fucking, the biggest Hail Mary of all time. A uh, mate rang the casino and goes, this is a fucking long shot. Can we play the granny in one of your cinemas? And the guy goes, mate, it's the quietest day of the year. Why not? And we said, fuck yeah. And this is, I oh, shit you not, we had fucking 3D goggles. <laughs> There's not a fucking word of a lie. We were sitting there, that they said the, um, the, the, that they said you've got to get 30, you need 36 people. And we said, fuck, piece of piss. So I got, we, we filled it, because uh, it was, what a fucking novelty. So, so we're in the casino, all we're, all we're in our fucking uh, 3D, go- we had buckets of crownies. The kids serving us, I reckon were fucking 12. And they, um, <laughs> so they're not going to pull us up on anything. Well, we're, we're fucking, and we're at the start, we're all like, sitting here like this, yeah. um, going, oh, you know, this is a bit weird. And but halfway through the first, we're fucking rolling crownies down the front. Fucking, <laughs> oh God, are you can't fucking <laughs> just having the time of our fucking lives, and um, it was unreal. And um, anyway, so and it was a draw. It was fucking madness in this joint. Um, so and then at the end of the day, like yeah, so it's a draw. And then you're like, well, there's 36 of us. We're in the Can middle we of the book fucking, again for next we're, week. We're in the middle of the Crown yeah. Casino, and um, so obviously went out. The tickets, every Collingwood supporter, every St Kilda supporter had spent their bloody life savings on tickets to the first game. And so they couldn't fucking give away tickets to the second game. I don't, I don't know whether you remember, it was only 92,000. 92, so, uh, so, so they couldn't feel, everyone, everyone was fucking broke. So, um, so it was easy to get tickets. So we got six, uh, six tickets for, uh, it was like 90, 95 bucks each. So, um, so that was a sweet deal. So anyway... Had a mate, Screech, his Bucks party was... Saved by the Bell. Screech from Saved by the Bell. Yeah. I reckon I remember from Saved by the Bell. And um, <laughs> so, uh, so, so his, his Bucks party was the week after the grand final. Not a great time to have a, have a Bucks party, unless the grannies are fucking draw, and then you've got your Bucks party up against, up against grannies. So, so, so he's from Wodonga. There's, there's probably about 50 people on this, um, on this Bucks party. They're all uh, fucking watching it down the pub. We're all at the game. So I'm there myself. I, no, we're in different spots. So I was, it was me, my wife, uh, and... Um, and and um, me and my wife, and, and there were, all right, fucking we're at Fed Square. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was 2005. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I barricaded. No, nah, no, nah, actually, nah, it was a Wodonga Lavington grand final. Ovens and Murray put it, no, no. So, so anyway, so, so Collingwood win, fucking, fucking chaos. And, and uh, so, so I'm, with my, I'm with my wife, and afterwards we went to Fed Square. My mates have gone off somewhere else. So at Fed Square with my wife. Yeah. Brett Smith Smear and um, with my with me, my wife and two other girls from Melbourne, family friends of ours, uh, lovely girls and um, and, 
Sorry? No, 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 no but they were uh, very, um, they weren't, definitely weren't from Wodonga. Very well spoken, <laughs> lovely, lovely girls. And um, so, so anyway, so we said, well, let's go to my mate's Bucks, Screeches down, down the pub. And my wife would normally be like, no. Nah. I'm not going to a fucking Bucks party, but she's we're all full Usually of pears. Works, Tommy. Yeah, 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 we're all we're all full of pears and Screech is going, nah, fucking bring her down. Everyone's Polax, it's fucking grand final day. Melbourne's going crazy. Fucking come on, babe, let's go to me mate's fucking Bucks party. <laughs> <laughs> Sliding doors. Um, anyway, so so we've gone. So me, my wife, these two girls, very. For very private school girls, oh. lovely, and um, so we've gone to the Bucks party um, at the pub. Got there, the, the room's empty, and I said, "Where?" I said, "Where are they?" And they said, "Oh, they've just gone to the um, to the fucking <laughs> men, the, not men's gallery, the one um, old fingers, no, the one on <laughs> King Street, Rhino, Centerfold, Centerfold, Bar Twenty, uh, Bar Twenty, Bar, Bar 20. Twenty. Thank you to the pervert there. Um, <laughs> Uh, that was uh, that was a little thing we we're going to do halfway through to find out who the biggest pervert in the room is, and um, <laughs> that fucking found him. Um, so, uh, so, so they've gone to to bar twenty. So, so and again. Normally, my wife, she's a Catholic school teacher for fuck's sake, so she would normally would not want to go anywhere near a, a strip joint. And, and but she's fucking it's full of piss, and yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so, so anyway, so she's gone. Let's go, let's go. So, uh, so we've gone. So we've gone up to the front of um, bar twenty. Thank you. And um, and the bouncer's gone, mate. You can't come in wearing club colours. So I've got a Collingwood. Um, Scarf on and a, and a fucking, Bantito's jacket. And a, a Bantito's jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and, uh, and a beanie. He goes, mate, you can't come in wearing club colours. And I said, I said, mate, look, fucking have a look at this city. And it was just fucking chaos. Everyone's driving down the street with the scarves hanging out and everyone beeping. And he goes, mate, you can't get. And I said, all right, no way. So I've taken the beanie off, taken the scarf off, walked in, and the joints. It was only like, it was like 7, 6 30, 7 o'clock at night. So. Yes, it's not late. It's not like fucking 2 a.m. or anything. Anyway, so I've walked in. The joint's going going crazy. And um, so I've walked in, as, as you do. First thing I do, I got up, got on the fucking podium um, <laughs> and, um, and got me scarf. I'm mad, mad, mad pies. So got me fucking scarf and fucking done this. And, it, sticking and everyone's... Um, dollar, dollar notes in your bloody G-banger and shit. And I'm going, this is easy. <laughs> giving, giving blokes lappies and... Um, yeah, I said, Pay for that grand final ticket. Do you want to go, go back to your place? And, um, uh, <laughs> you got a garage? <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I must have had time to get a beer. I don't know what I, I had my scarf in one hand, beer in the other hand. Bouncers come up, grabbed me by that, and just fucking shot put me across the room. And I have fucking flown across the room and smashed my face um, against the side of like the timber timber bar. And, and it's, I've sort of I've blacked out and I've stood up and I remember I, I could see blood like it was a tap. Like just going oh. bzz, bzz, bzz. And I remember going, this, this I'm not going to make not, much more money yeah, tonight. This is a... <laughs> This is not good. Anyway, so so my wife, and again, she, she's a... Uh, uh, oh, she fucking asked me not to tell this story. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um... Oh, well, we're committed now. Um, so, so she, um, so, so, so she's just reflex has um, has grabbed this bouncer, and he was fucking massive. This guy, absolutely massive. So she's just sort of grabbed him, and I've and and so he's sort of grabbed her, and I've fucking because you can not sure if you can tell. Fuck, I can fight. Um, <laughs> just, um, yeah, mad cunt segue, they call me. Uh, <laughs> undefeated. Oh, Unde Jesus, oh. What's, uh, is this, uh, what's this one? What's this one? A wet pussy. First time you watched, mate. Jeez. No, there we go. Thanks, thanks, boys. Beautiful. Love a shot. Thank you. Yeah. Beauty.
Thanks for. Uh, oh, oh yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. Quite nice. Um, anyway, so uh, anyway, so 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 I've sort of I don't know. I, I can't really. Re- so I've, I must have gone to bloody try and clock him one, which in hindsight. Um, so, so he's then grabbed me again. He somehow read the punch that was. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 so he's obviously a trained fighter. Um, <laughs> so he's just gone. <laughs> and uh, grabbed me again, gone for his second shot put, see if he could break his previous record record of throwing me across the room. And um, sure, sh- sure enough, he beat personal it. Best. Yeah, personal best. Yeah. So I fucking hit the wall again. Um, so I'm... Uh, so I'm out. So I'm out. So I'm. Um, I'm wondering where the yeah. ADHD and yeah, that might so, come uh, from. Yeah. So I'm. I'm out. Um, and and I, I, I sort of come to, and I'm lying on a couch, um, and I'm in the the office at the at the bar twenty, and I was uh, sort of fuck, and, I, and I'm just blo- I'm just covered in covered in blood, and it's still so okay. My lips are going out here, and um, and I've sort of said, oh, where's Where's my wife? Where's my wife? And sort of, he's, he's gone, mate. So the manager's there. He might have sensed that maybe their uh, security may have, may have overreacted to. Uh, <laughs> so, so he's sort of, he's sort of on my side, and he's gone, mate. What can we do? And he goes, you got a can you wind me, Jewel, yeah. back together? <laughs> <laughs> You've got an ice pack, mate. Um, so, so I've said, where's me fucker? Where's me wife? Right, right, gone down. He's on the pole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 just covering, covering his shift. Yeah. Covering, yeah. She, covering she, yeah. Seagull, she, oh, yeah. She's I mean, now our number one employer. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that's a shame because this is this is entertaining, but unfortunately we're gonna have to destroy it on my wife's <laughs> uh, So, uh, so yeah, he's, uh, so I've fucking gone out. Where, where's Tam? Where's Tam? So we've gone down. So I've run down and and, and, uh, and she goes. He goes. She's out the front. Um, so I've gone out the front. Everyone, everyone's covered in my blood. Um, so the two girls are out the front. It's fucking blood, as far as the eye can see. It's just pouring out. And she's, um, she's upset. Fair to say, she's uh, <laughs> the great day at the footy with hubby didn't turn out as planned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> she's never been to a bucks party since. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, every. Uh, <laughs> so um, anyway, so these two blokes walked up and said, "Mate, we haven't dr- we haven't been drinking. We saw the whole thing." Mate, that's, that's you're far, a fuck with. That's pretty fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you think you were going to hit that bouncer? <laughs> no, so, so, so they've said, mate, if you want to take these guys to court, mate, we'll, 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 we'll come all the way with you. He go, mate, he, they said that was fucked. And, and so the, the bouncers, the bouncer that, uh, that did it to me, he disappeared. Um, they had these other two out the front. And I'm like, lippy as all hell, fucking. You guys are never going to fucking work in this town again. <laughs> Every time they'd take a step forward, I'd be like, hey, 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 I wanna. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so, so they put me in a, they, uh, they put me in a cab, taken me to the to the Alfred. Oh, if we go back a couple of hours, I, I got everyone's um, everyone's tickets because it was fucking hard to get the t- it was just get the tickets if, to get all together if we bought separately. I said I'll buy all the tickets, you give me cash on the day. So I'm fucking, I've got a pocket full of cash. Got a couple of grand in my pocket. And um, and I said, if pies win, I'm not going home till that fucking pocket's empty. <laughs> so I've got high aspirations for the weekend. And um, anyway, so, so so I've gone, they've taken me to the, to the Alfred. It was absolute shit show. Um, I, yeah, the next day I'm sitting there watching the replay Sunday morning. The only positive is, out of the two grand, I had about one thousand nine hundred and seventy-five bucks in me in me pocket, and I was drinking fucking solo out of a straw, watching the replay, going, "Yeah, Tam, Tam was a bit, bit quiet, frosty that day. Yeah, she was a frosty. Things were a bit frosty. And then, uh, yeah, so a mate of mine rang me and said, oh, mate, I heard what happened. A, a mate that sort of hangs out with a few rough." Rough sort of cruise, and um, he rang me and said, "Mate, I fucking heard what happened. What? Uh, where was it?" And I said, "Ah, uh, men's go. He just said, mate, bar twenty, wasn't it? Oh, bar twenty, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> the, the, the week after it was the. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I just worked my way down King Street. Um, <laughs> yeah, bar twenty, and um, 
<laughs> and uh, and he just went quiet and he said that I, I think it was the Sphinx or something, the motorcycle gang was uh, but but knowing what I know now that I've got the Bantidos, I would have fucking yeah, you know, <laughs> If I knew I had you guys behind me, fucking hell. Yeah, he said mate, just just let it go. So um yeah, so let yeah. it go and uh, the rest is um the rest is history. So that was uh, 2010 Granny. So many great memories. Uh, so many great memories. So Tam pretty much brings it up once a week. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that yeah, that story. Good. Um, that was good. So, so, was, mate, we're, we're, so, so, so we're at a minute, uh, an hour four. So I think we need. So what we'll. So, so I think we'll have a break. Yeah. Everyone, a lot of guys start. I can do, do this one. Um, so so I think what we'll do, we'll have a really quick break. And then, if you want to come back, we're going to film, uh, record probably a little Patreon a 15, episode, 15-20 minute Patreon episode, and then um, and then we'll uh, go downstairs and watch the watch the footy, get on the cans, and uh, not enough Dexies to go around. But um, <laughs> 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 but uh, all right, so uh, yeah, so oh, oh, we've got to wrap up the episode, I guess. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So oh, uh, we, uh, you do it. Yeah. What's that? Gotcha, mate. Uh, all right, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, all right, so, um, so, well, thanks for coming to the first ever live uh, Good Banter podcast, buddy. Good times. We uh, we really do. We we do appreciate it because uh, yeah, when we first started, we uh, yeah we had Dan Connell on and uh, we we started with a guest and we the thought footy, footy trip. The footy trip, yeah. The uh, where was she from? She was uh, from footy trips, I think. Yeah, yeah. Pickles. You're like uh, pickles. You know, what un- what colour undies am I wearing? Pickles. Yeah. Like, uh, you know it all. Every footy club has a historian. He's yeah. the uh, he's the uh, good band histor- historian. Oh, right, that's probably not. Subscription. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, so, so yeah, so if you had told us uh, yeah after that first episode that we'd be here, we got through COVID. She was a wild wire ride through COVID. Habit but, uh, stacking. Habit stacking. That was a bit Habit. rough. Um, but uh, yeah, so thanks for coming out. So we'll have 10, 15, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 5, 10. Uh, <laughs> come back. We'll do uh, the Patreon. Hopefully uh, after watching this little bit of the Patreon, you'll go, fuck, we got to get on the Patreon because that's a little uh, that's a little something extra, yeah. the Patreon. So, uh, it's yeah, it's like, going to be, it's going to be, she's going to be, she's going to get dirty. It's gonna she's going to get wild. It's going to get horrific. So, so uh, all right. So, so uh, maybe we all do it together. Yeah. Uh, all right. See so how this goes. All right. Oh, she's out that's here. That's an episode right. of <laughs> the lo- Good. Thank you. All right. See you, Good soon. Stuff. See you back in uh, five to ten. Yep. <laughs>